Hey guys, it's me, Rue, a.k.a. Two Foot Cripple Lady. <laughs> okay, so today we are making a dessert. Well, actually, I already made it. <laughs> I made it a few days ago. But anywho, this is a dessert that you can make with either double cream or heavy whipping cream. Now, for those who live in America, you may not know what double cream is. Now, I don't even fully know myself because I live in America. <laughs> but from the research that I have done, it is very similar to heavy whipping cream. The only difference is it has a little more butter fat in it now because it has more butter fat i thought that it would be thicker than heavy whipping cream but i'm thinking that it's actually might be a little bit thinner because i the recipe that i did if you used heavy whipping cream you only used um i think it was uh 200 milliliters but if you used the double whipping cream you used 250 milliliters so i'm assuming just on that fact alone then the heavy whipping cream may be a little bit thicker and probably a little bit richer too because of the extra butter fat that's in it but anyways, what we made here is a two-ingredient Oreo mousse, which was delicious. So what I did is, it's very simple. You just take the heavy whipping cream. You take two, If, like I said, if you're using the um, heavy whipping cream, then you take 200 milliliters, which is basically one mini carton of the heavy whipping cream one whole carton just to warn you all it is a little more than 200 milliliters it's about maybe less than a teaspoon more so because it was such little that was left in the carton i did just throw the whole carton in and it was fine you really can't screw this recipe up, guys. I promise you, you can't. So you take that, plop it in a bowl, whip it really good. I whipped it with a mixer. Now, I do know that there are some people who say that you can do it with a um, whisk by hand, but you're going to really have to have a lot of muscle and strength to do that because you need to whip it very hard for it to turn into this whipped cream consistency so yes it's possible but i would not recommend it so anyways you whip it really good you put three tablespoons of powdered sugar that's what i put you could put less you could put more if it all depends on how sweet you like it now, I also have heard that some people add a little drop of vanilla, like less than a teaspoon of vanilla to give it a little bit of a richer flavor. I did not do that. I may do it the next time I make this, but this time I did not do that. Uh, then you take, the recipe calls for eight Oreos, but when i crushed the eight oreos i felt that it needed more because if you use just the eight oreos it's gonna look like you hardly have any oreos in it you're gonna basically just taste the whipped cream also they recommend that you grind the oreos to it's a powdered consistency i also did not do that I made it a little chunkier. In the beginning, I did it just because I was sick of trying to crush them. But after I was said and done, 
I was very happy. I left a few chunks because I think it would have tasted a lot different if I didn't put the few chunks of Oreos. I think it would have really just tasted like whipped cream. Um, so I'm very happy that I left a few chunks in the, uh, of the Oreos and that I didn't smash it as much as the recipe said I should. After I did that, you put almost all of the eight Oreos into the mix. And then you're supposed to leave a little on the side to put as like a garnish. So that is what I did. I put a little aside and I did not use the eight Oreos. I used about 11 or 12 Oreos. I really crushed some of them and then some of them I left in little pieces, little chunks. And I put that in the whipped cream, mixed it all up really good. Then I put a few of the uh, leftover Oreos into a bottom of a small wine glass. And then I put the mousse or the whipped cream, whatever you want to call it, into a into the glass. And uh, then I put some more Oreos on top of the uh, mousse or like I said, whipped cream. And this is the finished product. Now I am sad because I didn't get any recording of any recording or pictures of myself using my new mixer. I thought I did, but I don't know what happened to that recording. I did film it, but when I went back to look at my memories, uh, memory card, it was completely gone. So I don't know what happened to that filming, but I promise if I make this again, I will film it and uh, we'll get a better video for you guys. But I just wanted to show you this. I'm so sad though, because I did make another glass besides the one I'm showing in this picture. And the second glass was so much prettier than this glass. I did it perfectly. Even the, uh, my nurse, uh, who was my taste tester, <laughs> She even said that the second glass I did looked much prettier than this glass, and she even regretted getting a picture of it. But, uh, yeah, but it was really good. I know it's basically just whipped cream and Oreos, but let me have my moment, okay? <laughs> Hope you like my videos, and it was really fun to make this. And so easy. If I could easily make it, anybody could. I will keep doing my little adaptive cooking videos. More coming soon, guys. It is good. So go make it if you haven't. And let me know in the comments below if you have made it before. Okay, guys. Bye.